Hi noobs, Noobar C here, hoping you had a great holiday. I know I did, because Mr. Mailman brought me this, the GJS Ganker Fighting Robot. Personally, I've always wanted a robot, so while this technically isn't RC related, I had to give this one a review. As a special bonus, I'll be joined by my son, Noob Jr. Hello! He'll be giving us his opinion in a bit. First, let's see what's in the box. Right off the bat, I love the packaging here. Retail quality stuff, and from an Indiegogo campaign too. The manual is printed on high quality paper with full color images and is written in both Chinese and English. The English is clear and precise, though the manual is rather basic. Next is a foam tray that contains the accessories. My ganger came with a cool sword, a battery pack, some screws in a nice box, and a sweet handgun that looks to connect to the robot proper. I also got two of these things, which I think are just for looks. Underneath the foam tray is the good stuff. An AC adapter for charging and the Ganger robot itself. Mine came fully assembled and ready to go. Getting it out of the foam is a bit of a struggle, so take your time. Finally, there it was, my own robot soldier. Looking sweet and feeling pretty dang solid thanks to a full metal frame. The Ganker sports sensors on its chest and back for hand-to-hand -hand combat, as well as an IR sensor in its chest for gunplay, essentially robot laser tag. The construction is solid, and the details are nice and clean. You can tell a lot of thought went into designing a small competitive robot and not just another toy. There's some serious hardware here for the enthusiast. Finally, it was time to put some miles on this beast. Let's see what it's got. With four servos in each arm, one in the abdomen, and four high-speed motors in the wheels, the Ganker can really move, even on carpeted floors. The four-wheel design works great, and the strafing movement style is perfect for fighting. The way the Ganker moves is pretty good. We do have a broken arm, but they are going to fix it. It is pretty fast, but sometimes it is slow. Sometimes the arms get stuck backwards, too. The Android app is polished in terms of looks, and the controls are easy enough to master. It does crash from time to time and doesn't seem to work on all devices, but it is still in development, and GJS assures me that they will be releasing an update to address those issues soon. Control-wise, there's a big circle on the left for strafing, two smaller circles on the right for rotation, and skills button for your attacks. This works well enough, but I think a dedicated dual joystick gamepad would really make a difference here, especially when used in combat. I think the Ganker's controls work pretty good, but the speed control can be too slow and it won't work. I think the controls are fine because I have two hands and I can do two things at once. The app includes four predefined skills, but you can edit those and even create your own. Neither the manual nor the online guide goes into too much depth here, but after a bit of experimentation, you can program some pretty cool moves. It's pretty fun to make your own moves. There's nothing about it that I want to be changed, except sometimes when you try to make your next move, it copy the last move instead. It is a very cool toy. Being a combat robot, I have to imagine it would be a lot more fun with a friend. It's fun, but I might get bored sometimes. It would be more fun if we had another one, but they cost like $100. The GJS Ganker is a high-end fighting robot that could easily grow into a full-blown hobby if it catches on. The app and control scheme needs some work, but it's acceptable at this point in its life cycle. GJS will need to concentrate on improving their shipping methods to avoid damaging the products, as well as building a community centered around competition. It won't be easy, but from what I've seen, they're already on the right path. I'm excited to see what the future holds for GJS and the Ganker.